Um, so a few things you should know before I actually begin. Um, it's a really small story. Um, it's a bit stupid. There's no sort of um, conclusion to the whole thing. And um, it's not mine. It's sort of something I heard and I liked and I've liked for a while. And so. Okay, so I'm going to start. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, there's this guy, and um, he's a very overworked guy, and he's stressed out, so he decides to take a break. So he gets a cabin in the middle of the woods, uh, brings his dog, and goes to the cabin, and settles in, and he's watching the news. And um, he sees that a local prison has been um, rioted and stuff, and um, someone escaped. But he's like, it's fine. Um, so <laughs> he goes to sleep and uh, wakes up in the middle of the night and he hears dip, <laughs> drip, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what the hell is the sound? But he's too tired to get up, so he puts his hand out, waits for his dog, dog licks, licks his hand, and he goes back to sleep. Um, again, he wakes up and hears drip, 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 puts his hand out, dog licks blah. <laughs> Dog licks his hand, goes back to sleep, everything is fine. In the morning, he wakes up, um, can't find his dog. He gets up, he finds this humongous pool of blood on his ground, and he's like, whoa, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, he looks up, he looks up, and he finds his dog um, hanging from the chandelier, bleeding everywhere he's dead. And, uh, <laughs> he's like, oh my god! And he goes into the kitchen and um, he finds a note on his fridge. And it says, um, humans can lick too. 